So the aircraft is at a height of 19,000 feet. So the height of the aircraft is 90,000 feet and wishes to communicate with a VDS station at 1,400 feet above mean sea level. So the height of the transmitter is given, the height of the receiver, the VDS station is 1,400 feet above mean sea level. What is the maximum range at which contact is likely? So draw a simple diagram. The VDS station is at a certain height. 1400 feet. The height of the aircraft is 1 9000 feet. Now we assume it's also above sea level because of the altitude, and now you're asked to find out a range. There you go. See, in all those questions, you can see they're asking the maximum range because that equation can yield only the maximum range. Right? So, what about the current range of the aircraft? Yes. So, maximum line of sight range in nautical mile. So the equation is maximum line of sight range in nautical miles is equal to 1.23, can take to 5 as well, root of height of transmitter plus height of receiver both in feet, which is 1.23 times. What is height of transmitter? It is 40 sorry, uh, 19,000 feet. Height of receiver is 1,400 feet. Here's a picture. Try this one. Make sure you do not add them together first and then find the root. Find the square root separately and then multiply it 23% uh, of that. So, 219. Not 215. I think 1.25 for you, so you'll get 219. Um, what is the minus? That is delta is the answer. Right? So always remember, I told you before, uh, don't really wonder why the aircraft is at its maximum range here. So this range, line of sight range is uh, 215 nautical miles, that is almost the same as this range. So don't really get surprised if I place the aircraft here, it is again line of sight. Or if I place the aircraft here, it is still line of sight. Don't think like that, because we are ignoring the curvature of the earth here. Over 250 nautical miles, the earth is not flat. So the earth is exactly going to be like this 